Hey, how's it going guys? Matt here back with another unboxing slash bagging video. Um, I was out just uh, shopping the other day at some different stores, ran into Dick's, a place I usually don't shop, but I ended up picking up a few things. Uh, the store is really pricey compared to other places, but I did pick up a few things in here and then also I have a mixture from um, some tackle warehouse orders and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get right into it and let me show you what I got. All right, first up here, we got some Mike Ike's micro football jigs. These are by Missile. Really, really small, finesse football heads, but they are a 3 8 ounce, which is what I like. It really gets down there um, really quick. Going to try to use this on some of those small mouse. I think it'll be killer. PB&J color, one out hook. Again, very finesse. It comes in a two-pack, which is nice. But I, I just like how it has that uh, heavier weight on there so it gets down really quickly to those fish. So, item number one. Up next, we got the Mega Bass Mag Slow Swim Bait. This is a 5 inch version. I actually meant to get the 7 inch and ordered the wrong size, but um, I'll be getting the 7 inch here shortly. Had a lot of good luck with it last year, and I haven't tried this color yet. I'm not sure exactly what color it is. It looks like it is, I don't want to pronounce that wrong, but you guys can see it right there. Don't want to say it wrong. Up next, we got some Six Sense baits here. This is the Six Sense Swank 77X. i um, never really tried a black and blue crankbait before, so I thought this would be kind of interesting to try. I have used a black and orange. I've had good in the past. This is called Black Magic. But never just a black and blue one there. Really short bill on it. I think this guy's one to three foot. A little short crankbait. Be good on those rocks and as a wake bait. Pretty cool. Up next, I know guys, we got some Guggen Squad baits here. Um, I got a few of these because I found a deal on them. And then also uh, Shop Carl's has a lot of their stuff. A couple different styles of baits for like three, four bucks. So that's why I ended up getting some of these because they were super cheap. So this is their hollow body frog, filthy frog it's called here. It says eat me on the top. Um, this color, I'm not positive. Bullfrog, regular bullfrog color. Look under your dark greens, light greens, and yellows there. With like a brown and green skirt. Sorry for the glare too guys. Another one from Guggen. This is the Hound Bluegill Color Topwater Bait. Really like the color on this. Um, they don't have a very good color selection. They only have a few different styles, which kind of sucks. But um, worth trying out. Here's another frog. Just solid white color. Good on those cloudy days. Up next, we got the Catch Co. 10,000 Fish. Sakoshi bug or Sakushi bug. Um, nice little Ned Rig bait here. I like this color a lot. It is in twilight. Really dig the color. Kind of a bluish silver and purple. I think it's going to be killer on the Ned Rig. Um, here's some baits uh, I picked up from Shop Carl's. They were super, super cheap. I think these no normally were like 12 bucks and I got them for like 5 bucks. So that's why I ended up picking some more of these up. Um, this is the Bubonic Squarebill, uh, Chris Grout, and Ketchko combined half or two and a half inches, half ounce. This is called Boiled Bug Black. But it's kind of like your Red Cross style color there. Really, really nice. I dig that. We got a couple of those. Here's one in Chartreuse Black. And then also we got one in Black and Blue there. Again, I haven't really thrown Black and Blue Squarebills, so... I thought I'd give a couple a try. Um, here's another Guggen Squad bait. This is the Scout. This is their jerk bait. Again, really nice natural color. There was some foil flash on there. And this color is silver flash. Nice looking bait. Here we got some Bandito bugs and Pearl. I'm going to fish these in really clear water or uh, during the spawn so I can see the bait there. Flip that around some beds and stuff like that. Um, some more Sakoshi bugs. That's in just a solid green pumpkin. And then I got two more over here. And I think it's just another Twilight. Yeah, another Twilight 
and another green pumpkin there. Uh, all right. Up next, really excited about these. These look really sick. These are the Chase Baits Mud Bug. These are like a craw. It's already got the hook in there and it's weighted. And the weight is like really bumpy. It's I guess it's supposed to act like the egg sack of the craw. Not that that matters, but that's kind of interesting that they put that in there. But yeah, that's where the weight is. Um, this is just in Rusty. Basically, you're just springtime red craw. Or if you got red craws in your rivers, lakes, ponds. This is a good uh, bait to throw. This is the 2.75 inch. This is their smaller version of the bait here. But really excited to try these out and see how they hold up. They just look really, really good. And I got another one here out of the package. And this one's the 3.75 inch. This is the bigger guy here, black and blue. Get you guys a better look at it now. But this thing just looks absolutely incredible. You can see you got the weed guard on there. And then that's what the weight looks like. You guys can see right there. Really, really interesting. Can't wait to try them out. Um, a little pricey. I want to say they're $10.99, $11.99, somewhere in there. Um, we're just going to see how they hold up for that price. So another six cents swank, 77. And then we just did a springtime, like red craw kind of color there. Really nice. Here we got the Strike King. KVD toad buzz um, just basically your buzz bait with a uh, toad on the back of there so you can put any probably any any kind of frog you really want on there so um, just got that to have as a kind of a blank buzz bait without the skirt and you can rig different plastics and stuff on there and uh, just experiment it doesn't have to be a frog it can be a shad minnow a worm you can just mess around with the different type of stuff um, here's another hound top water by Guggen's just in a bone, orange throat there. Nothing crazy. Um, here we got their spinner bait called the Zener. Kind of a like a springtime pre-spawn, post-spawn kind of color. Sunrise craw, three eighth ounce. This color probably can do good pretty much any time of the year, it seems like. A good really good color. It can also represent a bluegill too, I think. So nice color there. Um, another bait from Chase Baits here. This is called a Rip Snorter. Like a little Threadfin Shad style color with the hook in there already. You guys can read the stuff on it. Snap lock. You can change the hook out it looks like. It's got a blade underneath. Really, really cool looking bait. It's called, this is an olive white bait it's called. Basically like a little Threadfin Shad I think. Looks really, really good. We'll see how the action is in the water, but Chase Baits has some interesting stuff and some kind of crazy stuff too. Alrighty, um, another Guggen Bait Zener here, kind of a uh, like a watermelon brown color. Let's see, this is in bluegill. So that's a bluegill color. Um, I don't know if I'd call that a bluegill, but that's what it's named as. So that's what we're going with. Um, Got some Z-Man stuff, some uh, finesse heads, and TRDs. Um, picked up a KVD crankbait here. We got some Liquid Mayhem scent. Um, haven't tried this stuff out, so I thought I'd just get a little bottle and try it out. This is a Shad scent, and I do believe they make like Craw original stuff like that. But thought I'd give it a try, just a little bottle. And then also, this came from Tackle Warehouse. Really excited about this. This is the Daiwa Lure storage case for your jerk baits and stuff. They make a crankbait box and stuff, but this is the larger size here. You see this is the stick bait lawn box, that green one, and they also have a short. But I think the short is going to be a little too small for like the 110s and stuff. I'll give you guys a look inside the box here. You guys can see. And then the hooks will stick in that foam over there to kind of hold them in place. And then you have them lawn ways. So... You guys can probably fit a couple in each slot, at least two, depending on the size of them. But um, definitely want to get one more box of this and maybe try the red one also. You can see down here they have a spot for your shorter ones too, two little slots. But this is your lawn bait box. A lot better than the uh, old, I think it was Shimano's that kind of went out of style and people were selling them for a ridiculous price. Now Daiwa came out with theirs. 
for I think twelve ninety nine or something like that. So really, really affordable box right here. If you guys are jerk bait fishermen or stuff like that or crank baits, you can you can see there's the yellow one. A really cool box. So um, that's my unboxing, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. I appreciate you guys watching. Keep smashing those L's. Click that notification bell. Let you know when uh, when I drop a video every single time I upload. I really appreciate everybody watching. Again, make sure you are subscribed. Like a lot of my viewers are not subscribed, so I really appreciate it if you smash that subscribe button. And uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll catch you guys very shortly. Spring is coming. I'm ready for some open water fishing, so stay with me. I'll have another unboxing of another Tag Warehouse order coming up in the next day or two. Got a couple orders coming in, so hopefully guys you don't mind some unboxings for the next few days. And then hopefully in the next week we can get this open water fishing started. So thank you guys, and I'll catch you guys later.